Hey, what is up everyone? KB here and today I'm going to show you how you can install the multiple room in your Android device. One single device and multiple rooms. So before we do anything else or we talk about anything else, I want to mention a few things. First of all, you have to have a root access. Your phone has to be a rooted. If your phone is not rooted, then it will not work. And second thing, uh, I'm going to use the dual boot patcher, the application. Let me show you. Uh, this is the application dual boot patcher and I'm gonna use this to dual boot my Galaxy Note 4. So this dual boot patcher only supports 190 devices, the popular ones, Samsung, LG, Asus, uh, maybe there are other brands. So for purpose of this video, I'm just gonna use my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And I will put link in the description for the download link for this dual boot patcher and also for the XDA thread where you will learn more about this. I highly recommend you to visit that exterior thread and learn about this dual boot patcher because if you sometime if you get any problem then it will be easy to fix later because uh, if you mess up with something and you will freak out because you didn't learn before you did everything so make sure that you learn first and the supported device list is in official website of the dual boot patcher i will also put link in the description for that go there and check the device list if your device is there in that list so you are good to go you can install the multiple room in your device and yeah last thing and the third thing is watch this video till end because i'm gonna guide you through how to install the multiple room in one android device and yeah let's do this first of all we need to install this dual boot patcher apk i'm gonna install this okay install and it is installing once it's installed you're gonna open this and you will be here and go to rooms and if it's asked for any permission allow that and it will first time i'm not doing it, uh, it for the first time it will ask you to set the kernel if it asks for that set the kernel of if it doesn't then go to click on that room whichever it is showing it's showing the primary room so go down and uh, there you will see the set kernel option you're gonna click on that continue and it will set the kernel it says successfully set the kernel so go back and now we are ready our device is ready to install the another room the secondary room so to install the secondary room first you have to get the room whichever room you want to install you want to install the cyanogen mode maybe you want to install another custom room uh, so i'm gonna install the cyanogen mode for my galaxy note 4 so to do that first of all you download the room and place it into your device your memory card or internals i have already uh, placed it into my internal device internal storage i'm gonna click on patch zip file this option and after that you will see the plus icon you're gonna click on that and add flashable zip you're gonna click on that okay click on that and it will uh, you can browse the device storage wherever you have put your custom room you're gonna browse that i have put my custom room in device storage I'm gonna browse that and scroll down until you see the room of your choice so I'm gonna select my room which I have just downloaded and as you can see uh, patcher options device you have to select the your device the actual device whichever you are using I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 Exynos version so it will automatically select the device I never had a problem with that uh, you don't have to mess up with that unless your device is not supported then do not try this if your device is not in the list of the dual boot patcher website then do not try this maybe you break your phone so do not try this first check the list I highly recommend you that in the device it will automatically select your device and after that partition configuration you're gonna select that and after that you're gonna select this secondary because we are installing the secondary room not the primary room we are not upgrading primary room so if you want to upgrade primary room you can also uh, patch any zip flashable zip file and you can install that but we are patching the secondary room because we want to install the multiple room so I'm gonna select the secondary and that's done hit on continue and rename your room second room and save it and after that hit on right icon the tick icon and after that it will start to patch your room to work with the second room work as a second room and it says succeeded and you have to what you have to do is go back to room section and after that hit on this icon which says the phone and down arrow and 
click on that and you can also read the instruction it says you're gonna click on ok and after that click on plus icon again and add patched file click on this option okay and find your patched room not your downloaded room which uh, which we just patched okay i'm gonna select the second room dot zip file we just patched and it will automatically recognize that you have already patched this file to work as a dual boot as you can see the zip was originally patched for installation to dual so it recognized that so there will be no mistake even if you uh, selected the wrong file you will be able to know here it will tell you that you have selected the wrong file or right file so i have selected the right file so i'm gonna keep the location i'm gonna select on that keep the location and after that hit on this right icon and it will work as a you know you, you, if you have installed the custom room before you know everything this will be not too hard for you it will be piece of cake for you if you are doing it for the first time i highly recommend you to visit the xd developer website i will put link in the description don't worry about that and also for the dual boot patcher downloader so now we our room is successfully installed as you can see here and it is even already selected to boot so if I want to boot from secondary room, I'm going to select the secondary room. If I want to boot from the primary room, I'm going to select the primary room. And whenever we reboot our device, it will boot into primary room, whichever room we have selected. For now, I'm going to select the secondary and I'm going to boot there. I'm going to select the secondary. As you can see, it is ticked, marked. And now whenever we reboot our device, there is the option of reboot. It will be rebooted to our second room so yeah I'm gonna see you into the second room let me reboot because obviously I cannot record my screen while I'm rebooting because I don't have an external camera as I already said let me reboot my device from here finally I'm here in secondary room as you can see this is the secondary room now we have a little problem how do we get back to the primary room how do we switch the room so that's normal all you have to do is uh, install the dual patcher on this second room also so you're gonna go and find the dual boot patcher apk i have downloaded here i'm gonna download install this now install and it is installing and that's good and go back i'm gonna go back 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 and i'm gonna find the dual boot patcher as you can see this is the dual boot patcher i'm gonna open this again and i'm gonna go into roms and allow the permission it will ask again for the allow uh, permission because you are in a secondary room not in primary room as you can see now we have the option to switch back to primary room now we whenever we reboot our device it will be booted into the primary room the first room the second room is this whichever room you select now you will be booted to that room whichever room you have selected now that's all you have to do now you can have a uh, two rooms side by side you know uh, they are totally different and pretty much that's how you do it that's all you have to do and last instruction let me boot into my primary room from there i will tell you more about this yay we are back again in our primary room as you can see this is our primary room and dual boot patcher is still there nothing happened to your primary room and yeah they are just different rooms so you can play around with it and you can do whatever you want to do it's just a normal thing and if you want to delete the primary or uh, secondary room do not delete the primary room because <laughs> that will mess up your everything now i want to delete this secondary room okay so all we have to do is click on this oh okay uh, i forgot <laughs> first select your primary room and after that uh, hit on this three dot menu click on that it will give you this option okay about the room whichever you room you have selected and after that as you can see here wipe room this is the section where you will be able to uh, entirely delete your room so i'm gonna select that and you can either you know just if you want to just delete the data and cache you can do that if you select this system then it will delete all of the room as you can see there i'm gonna okay 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 and I'm gonna go back and boom 
your second room is gone now and that's all you have to do to dual boot your phone or install the multiple room and you can install up to four rooms just read the xda developer thread about this uh, dual boot patcher and you will be able to know everything about this dual boot patcher and that's all you have to do to install the multiple room in your android phone and uh, one more time one last time i want to say again because uh, this dual boot patcher only supports 198 devices so check that list then download this if your device is listed on that list then you are good to go otherwise do not try this and second thing please must read the xd developer thread i'm saying this over and over again because i don't want you guys to blame me if you learn uh, from the xd developer thread then you will have no problem at all it's my job to tell you everything what i know and uh, you must know everything about the thing what you are doing so you must learn first and then you do the other things so that's all guys i will put link in the description for the uh, download dual boot patcher here so go there and it will take you to my website from there you will be able to uh, see the list of devices see the xda developer thread and download the dual boot patcher from my website yeah that's all if you enjoyed it leave a like comment and subscribe i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye -bye.